Hello, this is Bob Joyner. In this video, we're going to be looking inside TC2000 charting software and taking a look actually at the charts themselves. Uh, this video might be helpful for two different types of people. One is if you're new to TC2000 and you want a quick start on how to get started with TC2000 charts, how they're laid out. I get very specific in this video. We're going to turn the screens around and look at the charts and I'll tell you how to maneuver to different things and how to set different things up. And even if you're a seasoned user of TC2000, you may find some things that you didn't know about in this video. And then also for those who are not currently subscribing to TC2000, uh, this will give you an inside look inside the charts and see if you think it might be something for you. I am an affiliate for TC2000. I have multiple videos on this channel and I'll put a link both to my affiliate link for TC2000 where you can get a two week free trial and not just look at the charts but uh, actually open them up on your computer and play with them. You can use this video of course to get that quick start. And there's also a link beneath this video for my channel for TC2000 related videos. I have videos on spy options, videos on trade management, on day trading in particular, uh, but also just on TC2000. I have several videos that you might enjoy looking at. So hope you enjoy this video and uh, hope it's helpful to you. Thanks. All right, so in this video, we're going to start with some very basic stuff related to TC2000 charts, and then we're going to look at some more advanced stuff that you may not be aware you can even do if you're a uh, seasoned user even. So we're going to start by just going up to the top left and where it says charts we're going to click on charts. Now from that menu you can go to a blank chart, you can go to pre-built charts but I'm just going to start and you can see you can save all your charts once you have them laid out you can see all the different ones that I have laid out over many years of doing this um, but we're going to scroll back up to the top and just choose blank chart. You can use your cursor here to expand that chart out and I'm going to go ahead and expand this out and just okay so let's move from the top of the screen here there are a couple of things uh, the build the basic things are what time frame are you going on so you're going to click here and you're going to edit that and you're going to click uh, the price style that you want whether you want candlesticks whether you want Hakanashi charts etc. There are other things there too as well that you can read. I'm not going to go over every detail of everything here. But the biggest one that uh, you may want to look at is pre and post data. Whether or not you want uh, to show pre-market data or not. So you can click to show it never. Or you can, if you want to see pre and post market both, um, then you can do that there. Click that and don't always have that available in other platforms so good to know. So let's go at the top here. The little plus sign is how you're going to add indicators to that chart. You can see the list of indicators. I'll go a little bit slow in case you have one that you're looking for in particular. You can see there are quite a few indicators and you'll see some in here that uh, you may not find in other platforms. If you right click on the chart you can also go to chart properties in there and you'll find that same information and then let's go to the top here okay from up in here you can see uh, that we've got a time chart so let's say we want to make this one a 10 minute chart so that immediately changes it if we go in here and click on the 10 minute we can edit that and we can say well I want this to be just not one color but I want this to be the open versus the close and that immediately changes it to your red, immediately changes it to your red and green bars. If you want to use Hakanashi candles, you can do that as well. If you want to tighten up the chart, simple scroll down here at the bottom. You can tighten that up. You can also move that bar back. If you want to go back and see things in time, it'll go back to a certain amount of space depending on what time frame you've chosen there. So that's one chart that you can build. Let's say we want to add some indicators. Let's say we want to add a stochastic indicator. We can scroll down. We can also just type it in the search box up here. And I've got different stochastics. We're going to use the combination stochastics with RSI and plot that. If I want to change the frame there, I can do that. Okay. I can also on this, if I don't like that indicator, I can get rid of it. Just X out of it. If I want to change any of the parameters to specific settings, I just click on it and edit and I can change the color. 
I can change where I want that. I can change if I want it to show up as a histogram. I can choose simple exponential moving average types, all types of things. I can add color to that. And I can change the individual settings to whatever numbers I want there. Okay, So I can do that. I can also move this if I say like I don't like it at the bottom. I want to put that up at the top. I can insert it up at the top like that. And if I want to get rid of it, I can just do that as well. I can also overlay that indicator on top of price. So let's say we want to create a side-by-side -side chart. So it's going to just move this chart over a little bit. I'm going to go up here to charts. Again, we're going to create, click blank chart again. I'm going to pull that up here. Let's say I want to make this an hourly chart. And I want to make it Hakanashi Candles. So I can change this to Hakanashi Candles. I want to base that on open versus close. And then go up here to the time frame and say that I want to use an hourly chart. But I can also use other variables. You'll see there's some odd numbers in here for those who like to use slightly different ones. But we'll just keep it simple. And again, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and make that chart a little bit larger like that and suddenly you've got a you know a nice little two panel chart here now your drawing tools on the chart properties you can also do things like if you want the color like do you want a gradient color you know you could do that if you want all white background with just white and red candles you can do that now at the top you're going to have some drawing tools along with your indicators perhaps your drawing tools are the next biggest thing you're going to want to do so up here at tools you can click on drawing tools and you'll see this drawing tools window pops up you can place that at the top if you want to um, I typically squeeze it up like this and then you can use this little arrow key here for move window arrow key and click on that and move it and you can move it to it'll give you the different things where you can move it so I'm gonna move it to the left of that hourly chart so now if I want to place little circles on the chart I've got that then I can click on that edit that change the colors change the filling change the boldness of course you have your Fibonacci tools in here drag and drop and you can go and you can edit those as well to different colors only use certain percentages if you only want certain percentages on the chart and then you just come over to delete something you can come over and click it and delete it but you can also go up here to this little button right in here where it says erase drawings and then just hover over and click the drawings that you want to erase again I can add indicators to both of these charts let's say I want to use check and money flow down here at the bottom and let's say I don't want to use the 21 percent I want to add that and make that 15 and I want to change the color to red I can do that I can also take the chickens money flow and I can um, add a plot to that a subplot to that so we can do an exponential moving average of that let's say I want to change that to 20 kind of create a crossover pattern here and then I can look at Chaikin's money flow in that sense and see that Chaikin money flow is moving below its 20 moving average for example okay I can also change that and make that plot more of a histogram instead of a line and make it look like that so just trying to show you different things are all sorts of indicators you can actually add text in here if you want to other things at the top that you can do, um, there are color coordinators, color based uh, symbol links up in here. So, for example, let's say that I want the spy uh, to be on this blue one, but over here I'm going to change this to orange, okay? And I've got a different watch list set up for orange, so I can have different colored watch lists set up, and then I can just scroll through those different lists if I want to see different charts side by side. Lots of different uses for that.
I'm going to put this back to blue though which means it's going to copy that same watch list that I already had. To type in symbols you can just simply type in a symbol and press enter. To create a watch list on top of your charts you go up here and click watch list and you have a bunch of watch lists that are already created for you but you can go in here and create a new personal watch list you can name it so for adding the symbols that I want to add let's say I'm looking at um, the spy and let's say I'm looking at IBM and Microsoft just to give you an example so I can add those to my watch list and then from that watch list I'm not going to go into great detail here but I can add different values to that watch list such as the bid and the ask, such as price, such as uh, today's volume, for example. And I can sort those lists by just toggling up at the top there to see which one of those has the most volume. And then as I scroll through, I can, again, tighten that list up if I want to. I can move it over here. I can simply click on the symbol that I want to see to go rapidly through that list. You can also use notes. So for example, go up here to notes and you'll see where I can write a note. I'm writing a note on this chart IBM and I can just make a note to myself watching IBM at 144 and then save that note and you'll see that all my notes come up on this screen here, the last one coming up just a second ago watching IBM at 144 and from that note section I can go to the charts. One of the great things about TC2000 as well is that you can go in and create multiple charts and then tab those charts at the bottom. For example this is my chat room chart for the morning chat room. It's a basic 10 minute Hakanashi candle chart and a 2 minute price chart. I have a 3 panel chart for example, when I'm looking at the SPY, once you create these charts and set them up the way you want to, you'll go in at the bottom of that tab there and you'll say save layout as, and you'll save that layout. If you've made some changes, just go ahead and save the layout. Be sure you do that after each thing that you create there. You can also use a chart tab just for basic scans. So for example, this is my Ichimoku bear watch list. This is on a chart layout, but I've added a big scan into here, as you can see, using different variables to measure and to count. So there's all sorts of layouts that you can do. These are different scans, for example, for Forex market. You can also move charts. So if you have a second monitor, you can grab um, a tab that you have down here at the bottom and just simply slide that over to your other monitor. So that's what I do as well. So I have one TC2000 platform but I have it on two different monitors because I can spread those charts out. You can also trade directly from TC2000 on the charts. You can use your drawing tools. You can change the colors of those very easily just by clicking them and changing the colors. So you could draw a line, for example, on the SPY. Let's say if you want to draw a line on the SPY up here at 383. Go ahead and change that to 383 very easily. I'm going to make that line yellow. And then what I want to do is I want to click that line and say sudden alert. So I want to set up an alert so whenever the spy crosses that line then I'll get an alert for that and it'll come to my email. You can also set up for it to go to your email. You can set it up to be a pop-up on your window there. You can set how long you want to monitor that for one day, a year, two years, whatever. And you can do that on any stock that you're watching. I have a separate tooth for example on the spy here. You can see that there are different gradations of red and green on the chart. So for example I have six different gradations of green, six different gradations of red on this one minute chart. One of the other things that you can do which is useful if you're uh, reviewing your trades, you can go back. A lot of people may not know that you can do this but let's say I took a trade as a long back here at two o'clock on the spy. So I'm going to place my cursor there at two o'clock and I'm going to press the space bar and when I do that it pulls up the scroll chart to pointer so that was two o'clock pressing that what happens is the chart goes back to that two o'clock point. 
okay and then I can use my bracket on your keyboard just use your bracket and press it one space each time and it'll go to the next bar on the chart and that way you can review your trades the decisions that you made on your trades and see how well you did very useful tool for reviewing your trades something that you may not be aware of that you get with TC2000 is a heat map so if you go to tc2000.com forward slash cloud and if you have subscribed then you can go in and you can choose a list such as the S&P 500 component stocks and what this does is it's a heat map of those components and I can see I'm recording this on the weekend so the things are not moving currently but you can see who were the biggest movers so for example if you want to go to Ford down here at the bottom just simply click on that and go back to my charts and Ford will be populated on that scanner there I can do that in a lot of different ways for example I can use a watch list if I want to go to individual sectors so for example I want to go to the energy sector and I want to see who are the biggest losers and who are the biggest winners today currently I can look at that and I can look at that and look at it in terms of value I can look at it in terms of volume buzz so for example which uh, stock in the energy sector had the biggest volume buzz CCLP down here another useful way to do this is to go down to um, for example if you're trading Forex so for example if I want to go to Forex I can come over here and do my Forex list and use the percentage change and see which Forex pairs are hot and which ones are not so for example Swiss franc versus the yen bearish and again I can just click on the chart and go over to that and of course it depends on the time frame that you're looking at this is a 26 minute 5 minute 1 minute chart here that's on the screen so just something else you can play with there if you weren't aware of the heat maps so key benefits for me when using a TC2000 is I like the colors I like uh, visual effects you can have black backgrounds or white backgrounds of course whatever it's the easy way in which I can add indicators move charts around change settings add indicators add child indicators create watch list use drawing tools all on the same platform without having to jump in all over the place and then I can save those individual charts adds individual tabs at the bottom and just simply click on them to see what I want to see next. So hopefully this uh, quick demonstration is helpful for you in seeing how TC2000 charts work. Um, I'm sure I've left out some things because there's so much on here but uh, hopefully that will give you a quick start. Just be sure after you create a chart and you're on a tab that you want to save go ahead and and uh, right click on that tab and save the layout to make sure you don't lose your work. All right. All right, just popping back in for a second. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the video, again, there's a list of other videos. There's a channel for TC2000 that I've created uh, where you can watch other videos related to TC2000. My affiliate link is beneath here. If you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, please like it. Uh, comment if you have some comments to make. If you think I left out something on this video that's very pertinent to TC2000 charts, please post it below in the description box. I appreciate your contributions. And here are some other videos you might be interested in watching.